Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo on Sunday, September 24th, 2023. I have a couple of videos up. In fact, I just put one up a few minutes ago on um, my picks for uh, the NFL this week, my best bets. I, I've been doing these picks for a long time. I just want to um, talk a little bit about teasers. Now, you're probably going to hear people say, oh, teasers are sucker bets or something like that. But um, it, it really depends a lot on you know what kind of odds you're laying like a lot of times you'll lay like say 115 or 120 so in other words if you bet a hundred dollars you're laying a 20 cent a 15 or 20 percent big if it's under 20 percent it's very good for like a three-team teaser but even at 20 percent so it, it, you know normally you're going to lay a 10 percent big if you're betting a game straight up so you're going to lay a 20 percent big if you're playing like say a three-team 10 point teaser but you get 10 points on you know on the line so, of course, you're going to have to pay more. So it's not a sucker bet. It's just a matter of, you know, if you, whether you're good at playing teasers. Now, if you look at my website um, on my um, my football page here, NFL page, you know, you, you go back and look at some of that. You're going all the way back to like my first year. Uh, all right, here I only had five teasers, but I was up $60 on teasers. In 2014, um, well, you know, that's the same year. Let's go down to 2015. Um I was up three, I had eight teaser picks right here, as you can see, I was six and two plus three hundred and sixty dollars. Um, you go down to 2016, I was up six hundred and ninety-five dollars on teasers. I was thirteen and five, thirteen wins against five losses. The following year, uh, I lost two hundred eighty dollars on teasers. I was seven and eight. I think that was my only losing year. Let's see. In 2018, teasers plus 219. I was 16 and 12. And then we go to 2019. Uh, 2019 season. I don't have the wrap up here. Okay, let's <laughs> let's go to 2020. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won a few. I won on teasers in 2019. I'll have to look at that. Okay. But here in 2020, I was 18 and 11 plus 156 dollars. In 2021, I was 19 and 9 plus 232 dollars. And then last year, I was uh, 17 and 8 plus 204 dollars. So you see, I had one losing year, and in one year, I was up 695 dollars. Normally, I put on these on this page, I put fairly small bets because it's just, I'm basically just telling, trying to give you an idea of who I like in, in the analysis. Sometimes I bet about the same as I show here. Sometimes I bet, you know, considerably more. Um, but uh, as far as the teasers, I, I only had one year where I lost. And I think I was, you know, I, I don't see myself losing on teasers for, for the whole year because I've just gotten better at the, you know, the mentality and the strategy, let's put it that this way, the strategy involved of playing teasers, okay? Now, here's a couple of points. Let's just let's just use the three-point, ten-point teaser, all right? So you, you don't want to try, you want to try to lay 120 at the most, you know, so you look at the odds that you have to lay, you know, um, as far as the betting line. But what you don't want to get into a trap is playing underdogs too much. Especially if they're big, if it's like if if a, if a if a team is a seven point underdog or higher, those are usually risky plays. Um, especially if the teams have good offenses, and I'll explain why. Okay, and here's my mentality when I when I look at these teasers. Let's just say I'm I'm picking three ten ten point you know three games ten points, and let's just say I'm looking at one game and there's two high scoring teams, and you know, say the game is even, right? So I can get 10 points on the team I like better. So I get plus 10. The problem is, though, if it's if they're two high-scoring teams, it's very easy for that to get out of hand and, you know, and be like, you know, 40 to 28. Um, it's just, if you're, if you're going to play teasers, you don't, you don't want to go at high-scoring teams um, unless you have two high-scoring teams that are so closely matched that you just know, like two very, very good teams. But if you have two high-scoring teams and one of them has a bad defense and not very good teams, they, they have bad defenses, but they're high-scoring teams, it, whenever there's weakness, that's how you're going to lose your bet. All right? So you, the best thing to do is play low-scoring teams. All right? Say you got two defensive teams, and 
let's just say it's even, right? You get 10 points. Well, I mean, look at the, your chances of covering that on to 10 points. If you have two teams that, you know, I run the ball a lot and they both have really good defenses and it figures to be like, you know, a 17 to 14 finish, you know, to the game, it, chances are you're, you're, you have a better chance of hitting a teaser. And, and the same thing with, you know, a lot of people, I think, make the mistake in teasers. They, like I said, if it's like seven, eight points, it's 10 points, people think, oh, you know, this point, this team's a 10-point underdog. That's that's a big spread. I'll take 10 points. I'll make them a 20-point underdog. Now, a lot of times they get blown out. You know, if, it, if, if, the, if the team, if a team is seven points, uh, an underdog by seven points or more, there's a really good chance that they're going to get killed. You know, and it happens all the time. And then your teaser is blown out of the water. So, you know, you look at some of the teasers I played today. Well, all right. So this game was Thursday night. I had the 49ers even. Now, that, that made sense because the 49ers um, were, first of all, a much better team than the Giants, you know, on paper. And both teams uh, have good good defenses. It didn't figure to be a real high-scoring game. You know, that fit right into the pattern. And the 49ers, you know, won that game, you know, pretty easily. Now I have here the Patriots plus seven and a half. Again, now you have two defensive teams, right? The, the Patriots and the Jets playing today. And it's raining and it's a little windy there. So, you know, if the Jets manage to upset the Patriots, and they haven't, you know, I think the Jets have lost a lot. I mean, they haven't, they haven't beat the Patriots in like eight years, you know. So... But the thing is, is that the Jets are, you know, at this point are a defensive team. The Patriots are a defensive team. So it figures to be a close game. Now, the Patriots could blow them out. You know, if it's like, it could be, end up being like 23 to 7 or something like that. They could dominate the game if, if uh, Zach Wilson has a bad game for the Jets. But, I mean, it's hard to see this game getting out of hand if you I mean, if you have the Patriots plus seven and a half if the Jets are going to win are they going to win by more than seven and a half it's, it, that would seem unlikely so that seemed like a safe bet naturally a lot of times it's not but you know you just make the best decisions you can and and then the Rams and this is a game here where let, let's just look at um, covers here Let's look at the matchups on covers. Uh, okay, so we're going to go over to NFL. Yeah, so with the Rams, you have, uh, they're playing the Bengals. All right, again, now this is another uh, type of situation where the Bengals are, you know, their offense hasn't been playing that well. Uh, the quarterback, Joe Burrow, is, is you know, has some physical problems. Their, their, their offensive line, again, isn't playing well. They have a good defense. Um, this does not look like a real high-scoring game again. So if the Bengals are going to get back on track, I mean, they're only two so far, they're probably, you know, not going to blow the Rams out. You know, they don't, they haven't been showing that kind of firepower. So getting 12 and a half on the Rams who have been playing well, again, seems like, you know, a pretty safe teaser. <clears throat> you know, Sometimes these things get crazy and, you know, you don't cover. But you get my point, though. You, you better – you want defensive teams. You don't want to take, you know – I mean, I'm not saying I'll never take an underdog, like a seven-point favorite and make it 17. But I really have to feel that that team has a good defense and they're not going to get it blown out. Most of the time, though, you're better off sticking to small favorites or lines that are low, good defensive teams, you know – Games that look like they're going to be low-scoring games and close games, you know that that's 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 the whole you know key to being successful with teasers. And I've only had one losing season with teasers. Um, sometimes I'll play seven point two two game teasers. I've played some six point two game teasers. I've even played teasers in the same game, you know where. If, in fact, I think I hit one this year in the uh, in the second week. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see here in the second week. Now, these were all 10-point teasers. But, um, like, for instance, you could play a teaser in the same game where you put you, take, you you play one team, you get seven points, and then you get seven points on the over-under. So you're playing a teaser within the same game. Um, but, like I said, you want low scoring, 
You don't want to take the big underdogs. They get blown out too much. You want good defenses. Figures to be a close game, so you're getting 10 points. A lot of times, I mean, you could take either game. Maybe it's, you know, you, you could take both teams, <laughs> you know, on two different teasers and still and hit both bets. But I just want to give you a, a tip because I think a lot of people make the mistake of taking the underdogs thinking, oh, wow, you know, they're nine-point underdogs. I'll get 19 points. That doesn't work out good in the long run. So anyway, um, subscribe to my channel, and uh, it would be nice if you could also like this video. Um, this is my third NFL video for this week. And uh, so far, we're off to a good start on my picks, and we'll see what happens. But uh, enjoy the games, and thanks.